I can't see them pass a guy by it. Monster Bussy when we pick this up in the market. It's my camera. Good morning guys and welcome back to another beautiful day in Maburumo. Well today it's Saturday and they said the place would get busy where a lot of people from nearby nearby village would come out to sell their products. So there's a fish that I must buy once I'm here. And the fish they call Morakot and I'm looking out for it. I also have a few stuff to pick up. So let's go and check out and see what these guys have for sale. All right guys, well the first thing that catch my eye is these amount of crab these guys have. And I'm sure you crab, right? Eh? No, 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 You got another kind of crab too? Yeah, you, got, you got blue one here, but we're not going to regret it. You got the blue one right now. You're going to come out of at any time? Mm, maybe till um, Tuesday. Till Tuesday? Yeah. Oh, alright, good. Alright, I'll set all one up there for me. Uh, I'll pass back and collect it just now. Good, good, alright. All right. Right. You got the so, Yeah, I'll come in there. Alright, guys, uh, watch your brain, huh? Inside here. How much is that for the, um, the big one? I can't see them pass a guy by it. This is one, huh? This one, this one's fifteen, yeah. and this one's a thousand. Eight hundred a piece. This is the two. And your cassava bread. What you say? Cassava bread for five hundred. I got this two, two the cassava bread and two this. No? What? The guy in here. This, this is what. Huh? Nilly. Oh, so. Thousand dollars. Was it really? Oh, oh, so this one is used to make it because I have a bed. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> nice, nice. Alright, guys, well, uh, already getting a few stuff that I'm past the market to pick up. So, let me look. Well, some of you guys might wonder what's in that bottle. It's the extract from the bit of cassava where they used to make tuma pot. And trust me, I can't see that and pass that. Guys, problem when I go. <clears throat> How many fish we you got for my bike? Alright, but you're going to set up a next one for me. Yeah, yeah nice basket there for me. Yeah, well. Yeah, I'm going to the set up a big one for me, no? Big one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll call it. Look here, I am. I'm going Big carats, boy. This is the fish I'm buying. This is this is a silver drum. They, locally they call it basho. More and more crabs just keep coming out from the village, the close by village. Let me see the amount of crabs these guys have here to see. Look. 
crab by crab. <coughs> Remember earlier I tell you guys I have to come here and get a particular fish Well, the fish is right here so can't pass it First opportunity, take it This is a fish Fish Morakot I came for Morakot right? Morakot Yeah Morakot Basha Okay well we caught, but There's a Basha Yeah yeah I know what it is Morakot That's the fish I came here for Well our country uh, you could find three farms of Paku, like big ones we have the morocot there we have the freshwater Paku in the rapid and we also have tambaki that is coming from brazil it's not that's not native to this side any tam tamaki you're getting it's from a farm or if you even catch one here it's probably escape from a farm in the river so this one you can find in guyana this is coming straight from the arnaca delta so and so on there's a fish on what's good. So this is the fish we cook in today. The same basho. So we can let him cut it up and clean it up for so. It's picking up really fast. More and more people you find coming out. Yeah, yeah, cut it up. Don't loosen already, man. Don't loosen. The same one. Where's the tail there? Snapper too young. Don't like you. Acrobat, you're perfect, yeah. Snapper too young? A shark for a snapper, boy. Girl, there's no snapper. You see snapper. You see snapper yet? What? There's them little baby girls. What? Big fish. Think of the two fish and everything. Yeah. Look at the size of these snapper here. And them guys saying it's baby. So. Arjun, you got enough catch enough for do. Shake it like man. Monster by man tell anything is a baby. This man size. Yeah man. Nice. Sell off. Well, guys, we did get everything from the market we went for. The most important thing the cassava water and the more cut to go with it. We also pick up some cassava bread and some other stuff. Well, you guys see when we pick this up in the market, it's two different crab. This one, we call it Bundari locally, and this is the buck crab. 
but, and we'll be having this for lunch today but before I go I want you guys to have a look at the fun we had on the water tap yesterday so have a look Darling get in the way today not today the only place that you're going is in the pot <coughs> Aye, that's so easy. Come, you know, you're going. Where you going? Mm -mm. You're going nowhere today. Ah, it's one more hard on the one. Ah. Aye, easy like PZ. Cut, cut. guys this is me for a stop we at sacred heart primary school so i think it's a primary school and a nursery school in one the last time i was here was probably 16 to 18 years ago a lot of changes improvement so nice Memories. This is one of my first adventure I ever came on when I was much younger. Ah. Nice. Alright guys, it's a, it was a nice time for me to come and visit back this place after such a long time so we can head back out and see if we can go to a different location for you guys. So let's go back in the boat and head out.
guys well this is the next location we at shell beach have a look the master just come out this and get some nice gear back on Unlike the sun, bank we could cast out and catch two or one and cast and out here you catch your gale back up. This is my second visit here. Oh the man camp by none like we little tent big campground, nice kitchen lot of vulture this vulture waiting for whatever fish them guys put on and collect it just like on the Escriba river as you put on your arowana so be gone with it look at this a lot of shell this is the reason why the discarded shell beach because them guys wrote in the other night saying that the people discard this place shell beach because of the turtle shell or coconut shell because they got coconut tree out there well probably got coconut tree around the other side but it's shell beach because of the seashell all over you walk there's a whole lot of shells different different kind of shell Gail Barco probably would plan a trip and come out here spend some time and cast out and see what fish we can catch but for now just passing through checking out some spots other than that spend a day or two and head back to George Trump. Lots of vultures outside here. So the boat captain is saying they have more beach around the other side, but he don't want to take the chance and go wrong because of the moto. So probably we can just spend a couple of minutes here and head back to another location. This whole beach all over is a lot of shell. A lot of nice and colorful shell. Well, I used to see them on the seawall, but I'm not seeing them much that more. Only thing you see on the seawall is this. Here the song. Bear shell. Whole lot of shell. Name and nature. Ah, look, <coughs> nice shell. All right, all right, then. So, let me head to the uh, next location and check it out and see what's going on down there. Big Shell Beach. Let's go. Today we at St. Anselm Primary School. So we're just passing through, and checking out, and see what's going on with these schools. Well, 
for some of you guys most probably want to know how I ended up on this trip but it's a good friend invited me on it he don't want me to mention his name so at least when you see the video thanks for inviting me on this one well the river in the background is the Burima River the other school that we visit that's the Aruka River so we went to Aruka we went out to the head to Shell Beach and now we're in Burima River so the school is under a bit of construction so these guys have planned in where they would come up with a boat and go out to school total different <laughs> lifestyle you guys have to come down here and check this out guys to do recording with this boat and it's moving so fast it's really hard so I'm trying my best to see as much as I can get for you guys all right guys well this is a total different lifestyle these guys is living this location but as you can see they have no roads here everything these guys do is by boat sometimes you on the water top early in the morning when these kids come into school you would find them in a in canoe sometimes you see two three of them in the small boat canoe paddling going to school so it's nothing like Jackson where you can see the kids going to school with bicycle and probably them new electric scooter so everything here is by boat so if you're a school kid and you're watching this video and you can see what these guys is gotta do to come to school and trust me they would come to school every day cause they don't have much to do here and come into school they learn and it's like fun for them well guys we are an hour away from where we are staying it's 5 15 so we can start heading back to Marbrumo because we didn't want the night to get three on this water top because a lot of boats were horsing up and down so thanks for joining me on this one again 